All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Loop Hero. This is what all the cool kids are playing nowadays, right? Loop Hero? That's that's what I hear anyway. I, I don't know if... I don't know how accurate it is. Loop Hero is made by Four Quarters, and it's produced by Devolver Digital, a pretty well-known publisher of indie games. Let's see, they do Fall Guys, Enter the Gungeon. They also did uh, Carrion, actually. They were the, uh, the, the ones who produced that, or published that, not produced that. Man, words are hard sometimes. So I saw this pop up in my recommended a while back, and of course I'm not a cool, slick, you know, fancy-haired streamer who who gets all of their fancy games like a week in advance. So I had to wait. I'm not gonna lie, I actually like the high-res one. Not gonna lie, I actually really like the dyslexia friendly font. Hmm. What's that button? Oh. We'll stick with the high res font for now. We'll see what happens as time goes on. I checked everything. I think everything's gonna work all right. Uh, I've not played the game before, so I, I have an idea of what to expect. I, I mean, I, I've read the Steam page. That tends to be a pretty good way to find out how, what things are happening, right? But yeah, I, it, it looked interesting, and of course, it got super popular because of early, early access. <laughs> so we'll see. We will see. Uh, let's begin. <clears throat> the stars in the sky are going out. One by one. But no one notices. No one can stop it. I'm race. Oh. It's, it's, it's a little bit more hopeful than an ominous voice. Okay. I'm racing to the last place where there's still hope! No, that's too much. <laughs> that's too much. I need to make it before... before it's too late. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. That's... that's probably fine. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. Even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back. There will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. The change between adventure and traveling through the map and planning stop modes press the switch right click or space continue your journey by changing the game mode okay hope i'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall if such a thing as night still exists without a sky of course <laughs> pay attention to the day bar progress at the top of the screen new enemies usually appear at the end of the day is filled the boss of this chapter will appear on the campfire tile. Is this the campfire tire tile? It is the campfire tile. Feels 20% upon entering. Hmm. There's absolutely nothing here except slime. 5% chance of spawning a slime once a day. And that's a slime. Okay. Pay attention to the yeah, I already did that. Change game modes. A living ball of slime. Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey, I remember this creature. I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. <laughs> Amnesiac hero? <laughs> Traveling, fighting, and most other actions are done automatically, though the player can't affect them directly. Press anywhere to continue. Mm. Mm. Okay. 
Ah, uh, yes, auto battle. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there is a weapon remains of this in this thing that's not fully digested. Have an inventory and an item slot. You know what to do. Uh, what do? Instructions unclear. Uh, closed out the game. Wait, can't I shield this? Okay, I'll, I'll stop playing that. <laughs> I think I remember that there was a grove nearby. Are these even my memories, or do they belong to that slime? You can use cards that are left after defeating enemies to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Drag the card to a suitable space to remember the land. What does it do? Hold on. No, no. Desktop, no, okay. A gentle rustle of leaves, a crack of dry branch. And I'm going to sneeze. Get to the beginning. Ooh, that was close. I almost sneezed full tilt into the mic. And a feeling of being watched. I spawns a rat wolf every two days. The wolf can move to an adjacent tile. Okay. Now continue your journey. Dun, dun, da da da. Cute little pixel art. There's your rat wolf. Oh. Uh, living and has a soul. Okay. Well, all dogs go to heaven, right? Forest rat wolf. I was right. Some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remembered as a bad... Damn, it's good that nobody's listening. I'm listening! Ha ha ha! Also, are you a guy or a girl? Uh, you can get new items and cards during battle, as you've probably already noticed. Some items have unique abilities and it's due most of the cards. By hovering over an item or card, you can inspect its properties. Look up a new weapon and replace a new item or card on the map to continue. 3 to 5, damage to all 2, that's definitely better. Forest, a thick forest nobody knows who or what could be lurking inside, and it makes you a bit nervous. Plus 1% to hero attack speed. Do I want to... Do I want to just put it wherever? Does it have to be close? Mm. I didn't... I was actually trying to click off of it because I wanted to see... Okay, so I guess it doesn't have to be close. Uh, plus 1% attack speed is on my stats even if it's not... Plus two strength and plus two more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. Okay. So we want to put it somewhere we could put more rocks and mountains around it. So not right there in the middle of the map. We'll put it there. Great. So there's a mountain over there. Excuse me, it was a rock? And here's a forest. The world is just like new. The branches and stones on my backpack are a sure sign of that. Some of your actions will re yield resources that you need later on, but not right now. But that shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. That's weird wording, but I'll take it. Continue your journey by changing game modes. Okay. Uh, preserved rock. Apparently untouched by the Lish's curse, and thus suitable for building despite the shapelessness of the world. Stable wood. A log that somehow managed to keep its structural integrity despite the general chaos. Cool. Day is about to tick over again. I think it's time to get some rest. The game itself is a journey in a looped path. Only you will decide when it's time for the hero to return to the camp. Either you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. Uh, you can retreat almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safe to do so. Retreat to the camp by pressing the button below. Okay. I'm, I'm recording, right? Okay. I thought of leaving the campfire to go back to your kids retreat you keep all resources so I'm assuming you keep all of your resources when you retreat at the camp and you rec you keep less resources probably like 50% if you retreat anywhere else on the map and then I assume if you die you either keep lose most if not all of the resources so let's go ahead and retreat it's cold and dark here. A small fire could solve both of these problems. 
Nice place to set up a camp. This is where when with that had had that. This is when all your resources are you've gathered will come in handy. Who would have thought? You have just enough wood and stone to make a campfire. What a nice coincidence. Build a campfire using the building function while in a camp. Press the build button. I can't look at any of these until I build a campfire. A common campfire, warm and cozy. Monsters keep away from it, so it's a nice spot to have some rest between your travels. It's also the center of your camp and the starting point of your adventures. Here restores 20% of his back HP upon entering the campfire tile. Okay. Congratulations! You've beat this annoying tutorial! You can now start your first expedition, or not. Do as you wish. Click anywhere to complete the tutorial. Well, you, you heard it here first. We don't have to do it anymore. This is it. Game over. <clears throat> so, until next time, folks, uh, that was been, that was Loop Hero. The, this is our life. We were just now trapped here forever at by a campfire and a tree. And what, whatever this is, I'm going to assume it's hair. We're just on, like, the wizard's back or the wizard's head, and this is his bald spot. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and continue. Ex Expedition menu. I only have one option here, and that's start. Okay. This path. Everything is wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? I'm getting into some of the some metaphysical stuff here, aren't we? Like, I have a choice. If I need to give up and cry to save the world, I am the worst savior. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. Yeah, let's kill this guy. Yeah. Believe it. It's just better because I don't have anything equipped to begin with a meadow. Earth covered grass with a thick carpet of grass. Earth covered with a thick carpet of grass. Nothing really interesting unless you're a cow, of course. Heals 2 HP at the start of each day. Okay. So again, this can go anywhere. It doesn't have to go next to the path. So I guess we're just gonna put it in the bottom corner in case we have things that need, like, have, uh, adjacency. Uh, hopefully we don't have anything that has it needs adjacency to that, but, you know. I didn't know we were playing a walking simulator. He, 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 he. No. So far, this is fun. I like this. So we got a ration. Hello, slime. Goodbye, slime. Apparently, slimes are a liquid. You heard it here first. A throw. Okay, so we saw this before. I'm sure it matters where I place these. But I don't know how much it matters right now. Obviously, you want to do your most dangerous fights while after the camp, since the camp heals you. Vampire Mansion. Hungry eyes follow your every move through the holes of the roof. Adds vampires to battles on adjacent tiles. Also, I got a mountain. Plus 5 HP for each adjacent rock or mountain. So it's a better rock. It's like a rock, but really big. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we'll just pop that over there. So I guess my question right now is, what is the purpose of setting down things that just spawn enemies? Like this grove spawns a rat, for example. I'm guessing it's a progression thing. Like eventually, if you don't place anything down, the levels and experience that you get will just out outpace. Um, outpace the damage and effect of your items. That, that's my guess. I don't I don't know. For all I know, it's just arbitrarily making the game harder for no reason. Okay. Well, hold on. I'm not quite used to this yet. And I guess we'll put a third group down one. There's gonna be in a lot of rat wolves in this area. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Just 
Like, I have to be careful because you can use planning mode, but you can also just put it put them down in adventure mode, but your person will continue walking. Back off, human! Oh my god, I'm not doing that voice. Where? Blood! I'm going to take your blood! A vampire! Where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I would be glad to offer it. If your farmers would need help, I would be glad to offer it. No more land! No more flock! Only hundreds of years of emptiness! Blah. And hundreds of years of hunger! <laughs> That's a lovely face. Dribble dot. Blah. See, see. I can't do it now. Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long it will be. I will be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is so easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip of every blood, you will go to satiate it. I am too weak, bleh, but you will help me, and I will set this crumbled world right. Is this the vampire still talking? I think it is. Right, I am doing this not just for myself, but for everyone, in the name of good, bleh. So be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. Bleh. Vampires have a soul. Just just wanted to put that out there. Also, vampires are vampires and vampires are undead. Fair enough. I just realized I have three pieces of armor and I haven't actually used any of it. Fair enough. I got a rock. Vampires often owned our lands. They kept the peace and helped our settlements to prosper. An interesting take on vampires. But this won't do at all. Now they're just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally. Apparently the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunter. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Sounds delicious. Uh, plus two more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. No real reason not to just do that. You were scary to begin with, but let's put that on this meta. And, uh. Silky Bastion of Eight Legged Hunter spawns the spider on an adjacent title, title once per day. Okay. So everything that I put down is progressing the speeder towards the boss. That's good to know, I guess. Adjacency, does adjacency just go, like, this way? Like, like if I put, hmm, how do I want to word this? If I put this rock here, does adjacency mean only that one, that one, 
that one and that one count, or is it like a square adjacency? I guess I could find out. So I have a rock here, plus two HP, plus two more HP for every adjacent rock or mill. Okay, this has the same thing. And this is plus five HP for every adjacent rock or mill. So actually, mountains don't give anything on their own. So I have plus 233 HP. So if I put this here, it should be adjacent to three rocks and mountains. So I should get plus 246 and then plus eight for the actual plus two HP from the rock. I should then get plus five, 10 for 18 total. And then plus two for this rock here for a total of plus 20. So I'm at 233, so this should go up to 253. 243. Okay, so that only gave me 10. So because it only gave me 10, Five, six, seven. How's that math work? There's two more HP for every rock adjacent. Two for the rock itself for seven. And then how do we get the three more? Plus two for this one being adjacent for nine. Anyway, that does answer my question though. Adjacency is only um, directly next, it doesn't count diagonals. Okay, that's all I really needed to know. I don't know how the math worked exactly with that because it should be nine, but whatever. This is far easier because, I mean, I have nice little muscles here for rocks. I'm taking a lot of damage. What does this ring do? Oh, vampirism. I'll take that. It gives more Mac AHP, but it doesn't actually give me any abilities. Not, not interested. Mountain Peak, a stone giant, could support the sky itself if it weren't already gone. Plus 120 HP. I wonder if that was more total than this having the rocks. Plus 5 additional HP for every adjacent mountain and rock tile, and spawns a harpy every two days. Okay. And Oblivion, erases any established tiles. What if I just obliviated the Mountain Peak? I mean, I'm not going to do that. This seems like more of an emergency ability. It erases any established anything, basically. Yeah. Bit of little witch's magic. Cool. So we have a little bit of healing factor here. That is nice. So yeah, now we're just putting rocks around the mountain. Goblin camp. The sound of backstabbing can be heard from miles away. Spawns a goblin on adjacent tiles once every day. Appears for every mountain slash rock tiles. I could just put me in that, I guess. So, other things happen depending on how you do things. Interesting. All right, but with that loop, there we go. I'm going to call this an episode. So, uh, yeah, it was fun. I, I'm having fun. We'll, we'll see what happens as time goes on. But um, until next time, happy gaming. Don't let the blur get you. <laughs> <laughs>